Hello everyone and welcome to Masturbation Day 11. And this one is um, about what if I get caught or what if I have been caught? And I'm sure all of us have, you know, concerns about about this, uh, especially when we're just starting out to masturbate on a regular basis or if we live with other people um, or if you even if you live with pets. Um, the lack of attention and the energy that you could be giving off could be really attractive uh, to your pets. They might come check out what you're doing. So there's not, I don't want to um, tell you what to do, uh, just tell you what to do if you get caught. What I want you to do is reframe the idea of being caught. Being caught means I'm doing something wrong. Being caught means I shouldn't be doing this, it's bad, it's wrong. And a couple of days ago, I did a video on shame and guilt where we talked about, like, that's not what, that's what this is. It's, there's nothing wrong with masturbating. There's nothing wrong with touching yourself. There's nothing wrong with giving yourself pleasure or having someone else give you pleasure. So first, let's look at reframing. I got caught or I might get caught. Uh, Caught is for criminals, <laughs> robbing a bank. You are solo stimulating or you are being stimulated by someone. That's not being caught. What it is is being interrupted. Uh, you're doing something so normal and so common and so every day that you might get interrupted. It's just like interrupting a conversation. What do you do when you get interrupted in a conversation? Do you freak out? Do you hide? Do you whatever? No, you just kind of like, hey, I'm doing something here. I was talking, I was whatever. Same thing with masturbating. So if we move it from I got caught or I'm afraid of getting caught and that means all kinds of things and we move it to I got interrupted, somebody walked in, right? Like instead of like walked in and caught me, but they walked in and they interrupted what I was doing. Then what we do is we see ourselves getting very um, easily de-escalated. There's not as much the escalation if it's just, I got interrupted, a minor interruption. Um, you know, if you treat it like a minor interruption, especially with somebody who is an adult, um, they might be like, oh, you know, you just kind of put your, you know, whatever you're doing, you know, you just kind of cover up whatever, you know, however you're doing it. Uh, and they're probably going to be more, um, just like somebody interrupts you with a conversation, they're going to probably be more uncomfortable that they uninterrupted you um, than if uh, you react and then, you know, you're the one having shame. And if you reframe this in your household where masturbation is normal, then, then most people in your household will treat it like an interruption. And if you see me masturbating, here's what you do. You say, oh, I'm sorry. You know, that awkward, I'm sorry, right? Like, no, oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. And you back out of the room. But when we have it under I got caught, then there's screaming and there's accusations and there's all kinds of stuff. So why don't we just not, why don't I not teach you what to do about being caught? Because I want to eliminate the idea that you're being caught. I want you to consider that you're being interrupted and I want you to take steps around that. And what would open up? Maybe conversations would open up. Maybe action plans would open up, especially for those of you with teenagers in the house. If you make it normal, then they just know that how to react if they get interrupted. Um, if you have kids in the house and you know, you, you know, they didn't knock on the door, they whatever. I just tell my kid, hey, I'm doing something right now. You know, I mean... I'm also not all spread eagle most of the time. I lock my door if I'm doing that. But if I just happen to, you know, be caught up in the mood, then I'm going to do something and I'm just going to, you know, treat it like an interruption. And if I haven't framed it before the interruption happened, then I'm definitely going to go and say, hey, you know, sorry you walked in. You know, we haven't gotten to the masturbation part conversation yet, but we have gotten to the I was touching my vulva um, because he touches his penis and he's eight and he knows all about touching his penis at eight. We had to have rules about where to touch his penis, but it's his penis and he's allowed to touch it because he's eight. And that's just how we treat it in our household. So if my son were to walk in on me touching my vulva, I don't have to say I was masturbating. He's not gonna have any context for masturbating. So those of you who have younger children, they're not gonna have any context for masturbating. Just I was touching myself. 
you know, I, people touch their body parts. It's not that big of a deal. So I want to completely, if you were looking for like tips and tricks on like what to do and what to say and how to excuse yourself and blah, blah, blah. I got none of that. I got none of that for you today. None. Because it's ineffective and it just continues to perpetuate the idea that you're doing something wrong. And that's the number one thing I do these videos for to break up, bust up and mash up that you're not doing anything wrong. This is completely normal. This is completely healthy. And if you treat it like it's a completely healthy thing, that's what it'll be. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear if you had been caught, right? And you got caught while you were thinking about it being caught. I want you to look at like, what feelings did you have? Did you have shame? Did you have embarrassment? Did you feel like you were, you know, did you, um, did you carry it in for how long? And now having heard, oh, I was just interrupted. How could you reframe that? How could you rebuild that experience and um, reframe and reclaim your experience? Because that's what matters when it comes to sex and sexuality. Reframing and reclaiming can do all kinds of good, especially in this area. So if you have been caught when you thought about it being caught, or um, if you have had thoughts of being caught, I want to know now, what is it like if you just think about it being an interruption? My name is Dee Marcella Lyles. I'm a sexuality educator. Um, I love that you're watching these videos. Um, and uh, I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.